Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, I got a couple of interesting bodybuilding updates for you guys, and the first one is Urs Kalecinski, who just posted this little posing clip, and uh, he's 16 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and uh, this is what his physique looks like right now, and as you can see, his conditioning is actually phenomenal, it's actually very, very good. I don't think he needs to do a lot more to get in contest shape, I mean, basically, he's almost there, but he actually looks a lot bigger. I wonder what his weight is right now, and I'm thinking he's probably quite a bit above his classic weight cap, and he's probably gonna have to come down and lose some of this, this fullness and this muscle that he has right here, because right here, he actually looks phenomenal. Let's check out this front double bicep once again, especially standing next to this guy, this is a 212 Pro, I believe, but he's obviously off right now, as you can see, and when Urs opens up, look at this freaking weight taper, look at the freaking lats and the small waist, and also those arms are actually looking very good in the off season for him. Really, he only loses his arms when he dies down all the way for the classic physique weight cap in the offseason. I mean, sure, his arms are not exactly the best genetically, but when he's full, when he's eating a lot, when he's nice and fresh, his arms actually look pretty decent, right? And they flow pretty well in this pose in front double right here. So I think the reason why Urs has been dropping in places lately is simply because he got a little bit too big and uh, his physique doesn't look as good anymore when he diets down. So if classic physique weight cap was, let's say, 10 pounds heavier, he would look so much better on that stage, but the way things are right now, that's not gonna happen. And this year, the Arnold Classic, he lost to a couple of guys that he was usually placing ahead of, like Brian Ainsley, Wesley Wissers. So what does that really mean for Urs? I mean, here he's looking phenomenal, but there is a whole bunch of new guys, new Classic guys, who are potentially even better than Brian Ainsley. So can Urs Kletzinski beat Brian Ainsley again and place inside of that... I mean, I don't know if he can place it out of the top three, because that's Ramon as well, and then Wesley, and then Chris Bumstead, but can he even place top four at the Mr. Olympia? Can we expect him to improve significantly from this point? I don't know, I don't think we can. And if he placed behind Brion and Wesley, I don't know. I don't know, maybe this is like the end of an era. Maybe Urs is no longer gonna be one of the top guys in classic physique. And there is a whole bunch of new Classic Physique guys who are all looking very impressive, who are climbing up right now. So Urs is gonna have his hands full at the Mr. Olympia. The way he's looking right now is absolutely ridiculous. This is looking phenomenal right here. And the reason why he's staying so lean is because he doesn't want to get too big and then have to diet down for who knows how many weeks and like suffer the diet. He doesn't need to do that, because, again, he doesn't have to grow anymore, he can't grow anymore, he can just maintain as low body fat percent as possible, so he can just, you know, dial in in the last moment for the show, lose the weight if necessary, and, you know, compete. But even like this, I mean, he is not exactly uh, ready for the stage here, but he's extremely lean. Even like this, it is body fat percent, I think he can still make progress. If his training is on, if he's eating a lot of protein, if he's on gear and stuff like that, he can still make progress, and I think he actually did make progress. I think he's actually bigger now. But in the end, on that stage, we're gonna see the usual Urs Kaletsinski without too many improvements, probably a little flatter, and, I mean, with that kind of look, can he beat Wesley Vister, Sandra Mondino? Let's not even talk about Chris Bumstead. I don't think so. I don't think so. As far as Brian Ainsley, I don't think he should have lost to Brian Ainsley, to be honest, but... I can see arguments for that, so, I mean, in my opinion, top four, best case scenario, if none of the other guys, new guys, surpasses him, but in my eyes, that's best case scenario, fourth place, what do you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, the next thing we got is Nathan Diasha basically reacting to his loss at the Flex Pro Italy, and as you probably would expect from Nathan, he doesn't feel like he lost the show. And if you guys watched my videos, you also know that I kind of felt like he probably should have won. I mean, I thought it was extremely close, 
but I was kind of more on Nathan's side because of his size and fullness. I can totally see why Backrus won this show, but for me, it wasn't a clear cut, not as the scorecard showed. But here we got basically a breakdown from Nathan in which poses he thinks he won and basically why he thinks he deserved the victory over Backrus in this show. So let me show you this. Am I disappointed? People might ask, am I disappointed in myself? No, I'm not. Um, it was a good fight, personally, but in my opinion, I felt like it was 5-5-3 five to, five to me. Um, obviously, Berrios has the crazy glutes, um, but then obviously like, the hams I matched them on, I think. And then obviously the back shots, you know, um, if you were to ask me and be really, really critical, I would have given the front double, the side to side tricep, my worst pose, and the most muscular, he's a lot wider than me. And the rest, I believe I had him. Alright, alright, very interesting, he thinks he basically beat him in all the poses, except for front double bicep, side tricep, Nathan's worst pose, and also most muscular. Is he right about this? If you go pose for pose, like yeah, as he says, front double, yeah, it's, it's backwards his pose, but like front lad, I can see Nathan winning this one, I think he did win this one, but as far as winning 5 poses and backwards only 3, I don't know about that, you know, side chest, that's a really close one, I'm not sure who would I give it to, I also thought that Nathan was better because he was bigger and fuller, but I don't know, side tricep, sure, yeah, as he says, Backrus wins this one, and he does, Nathan looks uncomfortable in this pose, and you know, Backrus' side leg was very, very good, but here is the interesting part, uh, Nathan thinks he won the back shots, and that's where I can't agree with him. Even though it is kind of close, I mean, Nathan does have better hamstrings, and, uh, and, and Backrus has more straighted glutes, but still, like the back itself, Backrus actually has a better back, wider back, more detailed, more conditioned, so if Backrus wins two back shots and the three that Nathan gave him, that's 5-3 to three for Backrus, so based on that, I can agree with the judges, this one, in my opinion, was Nathan Diasha, by the way, and most muscular, yeah, of course, it was Backrus, but I thought still that Backrus won uh, back shots, so I could consider giving uh, Nathan back lat spread, maybe, maybe, which would make it 4-4, four to four. then you wouldn't look at the poses, who wins majority, but like, who looks overall better, who brought like more of a wow factor, and for me, I thought Nathan was a little bit more impressive, but again, I can definitely see why the judges chose it this way, Nathan, however, disagrees, which is something you would expect from him, but we'll see which next show he's gonna do, one of the European shows, it's probably gonna be Portugal Pro, He's gonna go against William Bonac. It's gonna be a very interesting show as well. You guys tell me down below in the comment section what do you think what Nathan said about this show and also what do you think about Nathan versus William Bonac? If that happens, who wins? Tell me down below. Alright, and finally we got a physique update from Carlos Thomas Jr. who is looking like an absolute monster. Check out this guy right here. This is him in the off-season, I guess, he was supposed to compete at the Arnold Classic Brazil, he was like, I don't know, 4 or 5 weeks out when he had to pull out uh, from that prep uh, for personal reasons, and uh, this is him right now. Now, the thing with uh, Carlos Thomas is, I think he already quit on a couple of preps, 2 or 3 at this point, so I think this is actually a pretty good thing for him, because every time he pulls out, he's already like 4 or 5 weeks out, so he's very lean, and he's not exactly contest ready, so he has like a really good rebound after each time he quits his prep, and I think that's a, a big reason for why he is growing so much and why he is so massive right now. Now, of course, the thing with Carlos is he's back, he's not showing it here, he's showing his strong points, which is his chest, his arms, his legs as well, but we don't see the back improvements. Which show he's gonna do next, I have no idea, but right now he doesn't look like he's close to any shows, he looks like he's in the off-season, I mean his conditioning is pretty good, like he could get shredded faster, it's not like he needs 16 weeks to die down, but I don't think he's gonna prep soon, but yeah, right now he looks like an absolute mass monster, and I'm guessing the next time we see this guy on stage, He's gonna look even more impressive than the last time. Hopefully, the back will be improved as well. So, as I mentioned when I was talking about Turska Letsinski, there is a whole bunch of new classic physique guys who are all looking absolutely phenomenal. And this is one of them, Laszlo Kirali. 
He was at the Mr. Olympia last year, I think he was around 10th place, maybe like 12th, something like that. So he's definitely climbing up that ladder slowly. And right now he's 7 weeks out of Texas Pro, where he will probably win. I don't know who else is doing that show, but right now he's the favorite in Classic Physique. And you can't deny that this guy has one of the most Classic Physiques in the world right now. Very, very good, very good. I, I wish he had a little bit better legs. I think that's where he can work on, but with the size of his body, I don't know if he can make the weight if he builds any more muscle anywhere on his body. But yeah, right now this is looking like a crazy, crazy classic physique. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.